what's up YouTube I'm back with another video y'all so with this video I'm going to talk about as far as for what's the difference between medical assistant certification and medical assistant degree as far as for the year 2024 I am at the bus station so that's why this thing will be going off in the back but let's get right into the video it is hot out here y'all okay so me personally I have a medical assistant certificate so I went to a medical assistant school and that's how I basically was able to get my stuff um, okay, so the difference is overall, basically, you can become certified through a certificate program in as little as a couple months. But as far as for a degree, it'll take a couple of years. That's basically the overall difference between the two. So now I'm going to go ahead and um, go a little more in depth as far as for what's the difference between the two. Okay, so with a degree for medical assistant, you'll get, it'll take two years to get it. So basically, you'll get your AA degree. Um, with the certificate, of course, it'll take as far as for a certificate. Um, for the schooling for a degree, you'll basically go to universities, community uh, college, or anything that's dealing with online. With a certificate, you'll go to trade schools or anything dealing with in-person or hands-on. Um, the school that I went to for my certificate was Fortis College. It was based in Florida, so any of my information, I try to give y'all information regarding for when I went to school for that. Um, how long it'll take for a degree? Basically, it'll be two years. Um, as far as for a certificate, it'll take up to eight weeks to nine months. Me personally, it took up to about 13 months for us um, when we was at Forest College. So basically, you do about 10 months um, with the schooling, and then you'll do three months with externships. So that's how that went as far as for a uh, medical assistant. And everything was hands-on, so it was a mixture of a lot of talking and hands-on, but majority of it, everything's hands-on. Like, the room looks just like how it would look at a doctor's office. Um, how much does it cost as far as for a degree? So the cost varies depending on the state, but usually for a degree for medical assistant, you're looking at about, about 6K through about 40K thousand. Um, as far as for a certificate, you're looking at between 2K to about 10K thousand. Um, me personally, how much I paid, I ended up getting a grant. So the school itself for medical assistant was, I think it was like 13,000, but my grant was for about like 10. And then um, I only had to pay an additional $2,000 on the side. So that's how that had went as far as for medical assistant. But it depends as far as for the state that you're going to and the type of program that you do because we have different type of colleges when it comes to medical assistant um, that you're trying to do. You have Chamberlain College, you have Concord, you have Florida's College, uh, Florida State Community College. Um, it's just all different types of ones in Florida. So the cost can uh, you know vary. Um, clinical wise both of them are required as far as for externships so externship means you don't get paid internships means that you do get paid um, I did my externship at a hospital it was UF Health um, basically I started off with OBGYN then I did the family practice um, they also had an option for you to do pediatric but I didn't have the chance to do that but um, yeah you do get a chance to uh, experience out in the real world to see what it's really like and I do want to do a video with that to tell you guys as far as for how my experience was when I went on my externship so y'all stay tuned as far as for that but I'll do that video later on sometime this week um and the salary basically both of them will be making about like 30k to 40k thousand um me personally the degree I don't really think it's called for like I don't really see why people get a degree with medical assistant anyways unless you're just willing to have a degree but the same thing you could do with certificates the same thing that you could do with a degree and you're both getting paid around the same amount of money each year so you know if you feel as if you want to just get that extra um, experience with schooling, go for it. But me personally, I think the certificate is the best way when it comes to medical assistance. Good luck to anybody that's starting off their journey, and I wish y'all nothing but the best.